What's up guys? How's it going? I know it's been a while since I've released something, so I told myself, do or die, this is gonna happen this weekend. Um, this is gonna just be a short video of using a webhook with your Jenkins and your um, Microsoft Teams account. So you basically have a notification of when after your jobs builds are successful or if they're failures, they're gonna notify your Teams channel and it basically just reaches a broader group of people. Like I use it in my day-to-day -day, um, job right now, so. And if you guys haven't heard of me, uh, my name is Monica Hart. I am the creator and founder of the IOTA YouTube channel, uh, just providing small amounts of DevOps information. Go ahead and feel free to subscribe to my channel for when I do release more videos of anything DevOps related, Jenkins, CICD, automation, tips and tricks that I've learned and picked up here along the way. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's tutorial. Okay, so first let's go ahead and in your Jenkins dash dashboard, go over here to manage Jenkins. We're gonna go down here to manage plugins. And then we're gonna see, just to make sure the Office 365 connector is installed. And yep, okay, so we have this installed, but if you don't have it, just go ahead and install it through here. Make your way over to your Teams, and you'll go to the team that you wanna connect um, the Jenkins connector to. You'll go here to add channel. We'll just say channel name. This is going to be for Jenkins build complete notifications. Uh, optional, so you can add more description if, descriptions if you want to. Uh, for the privacy settings, you could have standard or private with if you just want only a specific group of people on the team. We'll just keep it standard for now and then automatically show this channel and everyone's channel list. You can select that if you want, but we're gonna go ahead and just create the channel for us. Then we'll go over here to the little sidebar with the three dots, we'll click that. We'll go down to connectors, we'll select that guy. And it'll kind of uh, generate a list for the connectors that we can configure. Of course, we're gonna be looking for Jenkins add that bad boy okay yes this is what we want so add a name for the jenkins connections this is when you could just say jenkins build notification connection create that Okay, and then this is the important part. You wanna grab this webhook URL, so copy that to clipboard, and it'll take you through these instructions to go ahead and add it to your jobs, and that's essentially what we're doing here. So that's nice that they add that, good for them. And then we head back to our Jenkins dashboard, and I created this job previously just a few minutes ago, so it's the Office 365 connector tutorial. <sighs> a little too many, a little too many Fs there, girlfriend. So let's go ahead and configure here and you can jump either, you can scroll down or you'll see the little Office 365 tag connector here. So this is where we wanna go next, add webhook. And that was the URL that we took from our teams just a second ago. And we're just gonna call this our, again, just the Jenkins build notification. Um, and then so and then we'll go down here to when we want this sent so we want to notify when there's a failure when there's a success when it's unstable back to normal I really only want to know if it was a success or a failure so let's go ahead and add that that's fine you can you can tweak that if you want but I'm gonna go ahead and save that configuration. Awesome, so now let's go ahead and kick it off and see what happens. Okay, awesome. Always check the console, console output. Here's the Office 365 connector, the match status success with Jenkins build notification. So let's go ahead and swing on over to our Microsoft Teams. 
and sweet. So there is the Jenkins build notification now in that team's channel. And so you can have several people follow that team's channel, um, you know, especially for people doing stuff like cash clears. Um, I always set up uh, Jenkins build notifications for those, especially um, just to know that the cash clears did complete as expected. And so everybody can just check the channel if they have any questions. This, I've found this to be a very helpful, um, useful tool in work life, so. Well, I hope you found this video helpful or useful if you're gonna set up your own Office 365 Jenkins connector for your team and for your projects as well. And like I was saying earlier, we use this on a day-to-day -day basis, so I'm pretty much used to it. And it's a great go-to for people who don't necessarily need full access to Jenkins, but can still be notified through the Teams channel of when jobs are complete or if when or if jobs are actually failing. And then they reach out to me just to add, just to be like, hey something's happening and I'm like great you know and I'll go check it out anyway this is a short and sweet video just a piece of just a little nugget a little iota if you would of information for you today if you guys have any questions or anything at all following the process hit me up on in the comments with any questions or concerns I'll do my best to reach out I'm pretty active and I search through the comments pretty regularly and of course, if you haven't already and if you made it this far, go ahead and feel free to subscribe to my channel for when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and hope you guys have a great week.